All right, a little while ago, I had a uh, friend, old time friend of the ministry. Um, he said I could share his name, so I'll tell you his name's John Gale, Gale Force Ministry. Um, has a, a good, some a neat video on YouTube of going out tracting and things like that, and some other videos and things. But he's been a friend of the ministry for a long time, and uh, and uh, really appreciate him and things. And he said he was sending me a gift, and I thought, well, okay, and. Uh, Pretty interesting gift. Uh, can definitely be used for uh, weightlifting. <laughs> uh, it's just an incredible thing. I never ever thought I'd get something so nice, but I'll show it to you here on camera. I'm probably going to be doing more stuff with this in the future, but here it is. Okay, we have a 400th anniversary edition original reproduction of the 1611 King James Bible. Uh, how it would have been printed in 1611. See if I can get this thing out of here. It's uh, pretty heavy. Um, extremely high quality. Uh, just a really, really amazing Bible. Definitely the biggest one in my collection. Now I have a number of older Bibles. But this one is the biggest. And um, here we have the uh, <laughs> embossed front there. I don't know if you can see that too good. Uh, you can kind of see it there a little bit there perhaps um, but you go into the into the thing and it's it's got um, you know uh, you know it's got the original look of the 1611 the you know gothic font rather than the Roman font that we have today you know I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, it includes the apocryphal books between the Old and New Testament because the translators never accepted the apocryphal books as um, part of Scripture. They just said, you know, put them in for historical purposes, for their historical quality. There you have the apocrypha, and it ends. It's, you know, a Catholic Bible actually puts them in, in with the Old Testament books. And um, we have the Wisdom of Solomon... More apocryphal books. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, there's Matthew, the book of Matthew and things. Um, just amazing. Really, really, really beautiful Bible. And uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use this thing for. I'm actually thinking I might preach a gospel message out of this eventually. Um, just to kind of show people. Because one of the big attacks on the King James Bible, they'll say... Um, you, you know, you couldn't even read the, the 1611 King James Bible, which is absolute total nonsense. You know, uh, Ezekiel chapter uh, 32. And it came to pass in the twelfth year, in the twelfth month, and the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation for Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and say unto him, Thou art like a young lion of the nation. I think I've proved my point. Yes, you can read it just fine. It's a little bit, you know, some of the letters and things are a little different than what we have today, but you can read it just fine. So, uh, just uh, already thanked uh, Brother John for this, but just wanted to show this thing and um, uh, just really appreciate uh, all my friends out there in the ministry and uh, people that have made things for us, made things for my son, you know, um, made things for my wife. Uh, you know, of course, the donations and things like that, you know, that keeps us going. Again, you know, the, I, I need to just kind of reiterate that uh, this ministry is not some kind of a just little YouTube thing that I flick a camera on or whatever else um, and just run my mouth for a while. Uh, I'm in full-time ministry. I've been in ministry since 2007, King James Video Ministries. Okay, I have a website. I used to make DVDs. Uh, you know, up here is one of them. You know, the, here's one of my DVDs, uh, my, my big one that I did, the Real Bible Version Issue Exposed. Um, and the whole, you know, reason that I started putting a lot more on YouTube is because I realized that, yeah, I can sell DVDs and I can have that income, but I'd rather put my videos out for free. I mean, I would have a right to take everything off of YouTube and put them all out as DVDs and charge a price for those. But to me, I'd rather make my material free. Nothing I've ever done has been copyrighted. 
um, and I work very hard at the ministry. I answer a lot of people's emails. Um, I correspond with people from all over the world, and you know I do it without charging anybody. Um, you'll never see subscription rate or whatever else. My channel has never been monetized here on YouTube. I don't accept any money from Google. Um, that's just the way it is. And uh, so that's why we appreciate people's support. Uh, this is a this is a ministry. Uh, I don't just do this as a sideline type of a thing. And uh, something like this is a very, very, very precious gift. And I'm just so, I mean, just, <laughs> what do you say about a gift like this? I mean, this is just a um, definitely the finest King James Bible that I have in my entire collection. I mean, look at that thing. <laughs> it's just like man you know now that's a bible there you know take that thing out you know when i go to the store or something carry this one around you know how you doing you know probably not going to <laughs> a little bit heavy but uh i am planning maybe i'll do a more in-depth review if if you're interested put that down in the comments you'd like to see more of this thing i could set up my overhead camera and things and show more detail um but you know uh just really appreciate the friendships that, that I've made over the years, my brothers and sisters in Christ out there, and uh, all the encouragement and all the support for us to keep going with this ministry. Um, it's a lot of work, a whole lot of work. And, uh, you know, I've always said to people, you know, I've had people, and they say, well, I'm not going to, you know, donate to your ministry and things because you're all about the money and whatever. <laughs> like, if I was all about the money, would I preach this controversial type of stuff as I do? I don't think so. I'd be preaching things that people want to hear um, if I was all about money. But people say, oh, I'm not going to support your ministry. I say, okay, um, well then find another ministry out there that operates at such a low operating cost as we do, um, and that puts out as much information as we do, as quality information as we do, and then support them. Okay? So that's going to be it. And. Uh, if you, and again, if any of you have some suggestions, maybe something you'd like to see, you know, me do with this this uh, grand Bible here, you know, um, the Gospel Messenger, do a study on whatever. Um, let me know down in the comments. I would like to hear suggestions. So that's going to be it. Thank you, Brother John, for the Bible, and thank you to those out there who support the ministry. We uh, greatly appreciate it.